So this is a multi beam, and what it does is it maps the sea floor. We have not only a single beam going down below the boat like a fish finder, we have basically a fan perpendicular to our boat. Like butter. And we can drive up and down and map in really great detail. Uh, we're just heading around the back of this uh, rig. Yeah, that's good, and keep this line. The mapping is an initial step of a three-leg survey. It shows the other groups how deep is it, how steep is the seafloor. Many of these places haven't had any data collected and so this bathymetry shows my colleagues that they have to design their experiments in a particular way. That looks good. I'll stop recording. What we have is a tight gauge. Once you have collected the data and processed it, um, you can see how the tide was going up and down. So you can filter out the change of water depth because of the waves. And for that it has to be in 30 days. So we put it at now. Okay. Boy clear. Put it on your starboard quarter. Let's go home. When we get back to the ship, we get the data in and I do a quality check. We can have reflections of things like fish schools, for example, in the water. They're lovely, but we don't want them for the map. When we think we're good, we export that in a format that the scientists work with. Or if you go this way, you drop them. The excitement for everyone seems to be that we found a new reef that was not charted before. It is of quite some size and might be quite interesting for the actual sampling and for the future of the science work here in this area as well. So always good to find something new on the seafloor.